Good morning guys. Today, today we're going to do a very easy drugstore get ready with me. And I'm going to tell you what I did. I am not happy with myself. I was desperate because I had not been able to get a haircut for a while. And um, yeah, I went overboard. So I haven't even done my skincare because it's gonna be that's gonna be simple. Also, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not gonna put in my foundation has sunscreen. I'm not gonna put any extra sunscreen because I'm staying indoors. So I really don't feel like I need it. So the one thing that I am gonna put is going to be this skin brightening and anti-aging serum, and this has Tressa no Tranosamic acid, Arbutin, vitamin C and E, licorice and hyaluronic acid and this is supposed to be really good for the hyperpigmentation it has lightened my spots i don't have i have not gotten any more spots they haven't disappeared and i don't think they will some of them have been there for so long that i really don't think i'm going to be able to totally get rid of them but the nice thing about this serum is that that Tranosamic acid actually repels the sun rays from your skin. So you're not going to receive additional damage. This was recommended by Penny for Pen Skincare, and I will list her channel below. She has an excellent channel. She's a um, master esthetician, so she knows all about skin, and she does a lot of uh, skincare recommendations, affordable and also high-end so I really do love her channel I have purchased many many products because of her and they have all worked extremely well so this is something that I use in the morning and at night and this is the first thing that I put on my face after I cleanse my face so the next thing that I am going to use is going to be my this is the only eye cream I'm going to use today which is my drunk elephant sea tangle multivitamin eye cream I normally use this more as an eye serum and then I go over it with an eye cream but since I'm not doing anything heavy today and I'm not going anywhere and I don't really need anything to last all day I'm just going light I don't I don't want a lot of stuff on my face today for some reason so after I put on my skincare I'll let you know my hair disaster let's just say that I wish that my friend Marlene Fab and Glam lived closer closer to me so that I could borrow a wig. But I think I'm going to purchase one today. That's it. My decision is made. I will go wig shopping today. The next thing I'm going to use is the new serum by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a magic serum crystal elixir. And it says that your skin is supposed to look 93% young, younger. Now, um, I have been using it for about a week and a half. I received this from Influencer. For an honest review, I want to use it for at least another week before I actually review it. So far, I like it. Um, I mean, I don't feel like my face is has changed much, but I mean, it does look nice and hydrated when I put this on. And I, they tell you, I, you know, put a few drops. I usually put like a few drops on the palm of my hand, rub them together, and then just pat my face like I do any other serum. It smells it does have a scent it's a very light and pleasant scent so it all depends if you like scents in your uh, skincare this is an $80 serum and I was ecstatic to receive it from influencer I mean anything Charlotte Tilbury I'll take it but I don't want to review it just yet when you do put it on at first your face feels a little sticky uh, not bad not that you know but it does feel a little sticky but it feels like it sinks right in now that I feel do I feel like my face looks you know plumper or smooths out my my wrinkles immediately no but it is very pleasant uh, I don't feel like that with the uh, drunk elephant serum either I mean it feels good I feel like long term it works very well it works well with my skin and this is about the same as as is you know the drunk elephant as you can i don't know if you can see it but i've used quite a bit of it can you see the line if i can only straighten out the bottle so hard to do with a viewfinder because you do it backwards so i have used you know quite a bit of it 
And they tell you to use that on the on the face and chest, but this is too expensive to be going on my chest. I use something else a little less expensive there. Yeah, I can always wear turtlenecks, okay? But this I can't, you know, it's bad enough I have to wear this today. And then I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I love. The first time I tried this, like two years ago at Christmas, they had like a little Christmas a duo it was the face cream and the eye cream i like both of them very very much they feel amazing on the skin this is an emollient moisturizer but not in the sense where your makeup is not going to apply correctly on your skin i think your makeup still looks beautiful um, it sinks into your skin. It makes your your skin feel so nice. It has the same kind of scent as the um, as the serum. Maybe a little more than the serum, but it's like in the same family, and it feels amazing. And this one I actually purchased it. This is like the middle. Well, like I think they have the deluxe sample that they send you. This is a small one. And then they have like a larger one. And I was able to get this in a, when she had a sale a couple of weeks ago. What did I get it? I got it through Nordstrom, I think it was. They were having a 30% off sale on some Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And I was able to get, I got this. I got several items, 30% off. So this was a good buy. So um, I'm going to let this sink in for a minute. And I'll be right back. All right, so this has been sitting there for a couple of minutes so for primer I'm going to use the ColourPop pretty fresh and this is a hydrating hyaluronic acid primer this is hydrating um, it doesn't blur pores or anything like that I don't really think most primers do unless they're specifically made for that the thicker ones but um this is nice it's light it's hydrating it sinks into your skin and it does a good job so I like it all right, let me see. And it's just, it has a fragrance, not a very pleasant fragrance. When I looked at this, I thought it was gonna smell like oranges or something like that, which would have been amazing if this would have smelled like oranges, but um, no, it's just called Pretty Fresh. To me, it doesn't smell that fresh, but hey, who am I? So I feel like this thing is gonna just pop off my head any second which that would be I usually do bring some kind of humor to my videos but that would be the ultimate humor I really don't know how to wear these first time and you can probably tell so anyway the uh, foundation that I am using today is going to be did I already pull it out yes this is a new foundation that I bought and this is a it's a smart shade anti-aging skin tone matching makeup and this is by Alme. I have one by Charlotte Tilbury that I want to show you guys how it works it's a little dark on me so I was waiting until maybe I got a little more color on my face but and this is supposed to be the same thing but at Alme, a lot more affordable and I'm not sure how I feel about this I've only worn it a couple of times but I wanted to try it for you guys this is the light medium mine I guess it's my you know shade um, when it comes out so you can see it's like white with a grayish tint and as you put it on your face see how white it is but then it kind of adjusts to your skin tone as you rub it in I don't feel like it has a lot of coverage um, the Charlotte Tilbury one does the Charlotte Tilbury actually covers a lot of my hyperpigmentation. This one, mm, not so much. As you can see, I mean, if you have perfect skin, I don't know. I think I will probably just get like a tinted moisturizer. I really don't think this does much for me. I mean, I don't see much of a difference in my skin tone. So while I rub this on my face, let me tell you what I did. My hairdresser, I contacted her last week to see when she was going back to work. And she said she was, her first day was yet yeah, yesterday, Friday. 
So she goes, um, do you want the first appointment before anybody comes into the, and you know, into the salon and, you know, so we can get your haircut. I said, sure, I'll take it. So anyway, I had an appointment at nine. Her and I were the only ones there. We're both wearing our mask, which I don't know how she was able to cut around the ear and everything with my mask on, but she did. So, um, anyway, we were talking and my hair, I mean, it, you know how it is when your hair's short and you're in between haircuts, it's like your hair doesn't know which way to go. My hair was short prior to the haircut, but the last haircut was a lot shorter than the one I had before. So it was like, I couldn't do anything with it. That's why I was wearing headbands all the time. I, know, I love wearing headbands. Even when I have my hair that I can style it, I still like wearing headbands. That's something I really do like. I don't know about this. I'm not too crazy about this. But anyway, but hair bands. But today I needed this. A hair band would not help. I'm going to put a little more, more on my cheeks to see if it covers some of this because um, I feel like I wasted my time. I'm going to stipple it and see if it makes a difference. So anyway, so I told her, no, go ahead and cut it. She goes, uh, do you, how do you want to say cut it short? Because I don't know if, you know, now that things are opening up, I don't know if, you know, it's going to get worse and we're going to, you know, close down again. And I don't want to worry about needing a haircut for a couple of weeks. Well, be careful what you ask for. My hair was super short. My hair always goes into kind of like a shock when I first covered a little more. Still not mm, my, my favorite, but so anyway, um, when I got home, I told my husband, oh my gosh, you know, I went too short. I don't really like my hair. And he's real sweet. He always goes, I think it looked great. He, he looks, it looks pretty and you look good. And once you fix it and you wash it and fix it, you like it more. But he says, you know, I think it looks good. So okay, he's, he knows the right thing to say, so I don't kick him. No, I'm just kidding. So anyway, um, this morning, I said, you know what? Since I'm going to wash my hair, I'm going to go ahead and color it. I was going to do one of those root touch up and just do, you know, like the front of my hair where most of my gray is. I didn't have one. And all I had was, I normally buy the Clairol H Defy uh, hair dye. And I do it myself, guys, because I'm not going to pay $60, $80 for a hairdresser to color the five hairs on my head. And it lasts just as long as when I used to have it done professionally. So anyways, um, I had purchased two different colors because I saw Danielle's from Glamburger. She used like a burgundy color in her hair and it looks really, really amazing. But I'm, I didn't want to be that bold. So I bought the medium brown that I always buy and then I bought the deep brown burgundy or deep burgundy brown or whatever. And I had to buy the Feria brand. So I did like three-fourths of the medium brown and one-fourth of the burgundy. Well, guess what grabbed the roots of my hair? The burgundy. Like, all of this is really red. The rest of it, like you can see up here, it looks dark brown. So, so yeah, a short haircut that is in shock because it takes my hair a couple of days to adjust to being cut. And then, it's the wrong color. So needless to say, if I wanted to do a video today, I had to figure out how to cover my hair. So this is it. This is the best I could do. So I'm going to use the CoverGirl. What is this CoverGirl? True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is pretty new to me. I've used it a few times, but I've heard so many great reviews and I'm not using a different eye primer today. I'm just going to keep it simple. I don't want to pull out a bunch of products. So, um, and my bags are pretty deep today, so gonna go a little and the coverage on that other it did a little better once I added but I don't know have you guys tried that Alme this let me know how you like it I mean it doesn't look so bad now that I added a little more to the cheeks but I wish that the um, Charlotte Tilbury came in a lighter shade it's that one shade it just comes in one shade so it's very hard to you know for it to fit everyone so what I may do is mix it with this one and that may lighten it up a little bit so anyways so yeah that's the story of my hair I am not happy with my decision to cut it as short as I did and definitely not the color selection I need to stay with my medium brown
my hair normally my my normal hair color is dark brown it's almost let me turn down the uh, the light it's really bright okay i think that you can see me a little better now that was really bright before hope you can see me better but i didn't make it too dark i have um a ring light but i also have windows nearby so it's kind of hard to find the right lighting okay the powder that i brought out is the flower beauty light illusion and the reason is because i knew that that foundation was very light coverage so this powder gives you a little bit of uh, coverage not a lot because i don't put a lot on but i figured if i needed a little bit of extra coverage this would be the perfect powder to use so i'm just going over my face very lightly mainly just trying to set a little bit under my eyes I am looking very ghostly all right I'm going to bronze up a little bit and I'm going to use this brush here and my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula I've had this for like forever and this is like the uh, never-ending bronzer and I'm just gonna try to bring a little bit of color back to my face a little bit under my chin and get the fluffier brush and go under my neck oh look my headband is about to pop out I feel like my circulation in my head no, I'm just kidding I didn't make it that tight oh that doesn't have a mirror haha <laughs> okay so that looks good okay for blush i am going to use the l'oreal h perfect and this is in what shade are you 410 and i really do like this blush i didn't care too much for the um foundation but i think the blush is very pretty or the concealer i thought the concealer is a big waste of time that does not give you any kind of coverage whatsoever so no for concealer okay i'm gonna set my eyes with the powder i didn't bring a specific um eyeshadow to set it with so i'm just going to use the powder And if I can, I like to do this, especially if I'm using powder, so that if any um, concealer is settled into the fine lines right underneath my lashes, I can kind of smooth it out. Okay. Now for my eyes, I am just going to use this ColourPop. And I don't know if it's that ColourPop. I thought it was because it looks like a ColourPop shadow this is ace beauté um glimmer shadow and ice latte and let me show you guys this is very pretty so i'm just going to go very lightly the center on my eyes well on my eye on my lid but I'm just kind of like, I don't want to put a lot. I just want like a little light wash of, of shadow there. Oh my gosh, this thing is, I tell you, this is going to fly off my head. I have to do head wraps 101 tutorial. This is very pigmented. I'm just going a little bit at a time because I don't want to overdo it. Okay, that's enough. And then I am going to take my bronzer. The butter bronzer. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used to um, 
set my eyes and just kind of blend the edge. This is as simple as, you, you know, really if I'm not talking, I can get this done in five minutes. I'm not going to do anything under my, uh, my lower lash line. And I have my CoverGirl brow pencil that I am just going to go and shape my brows a little bit and i'm going to speed through this because this is boring okay and now i am going to use the alta brand brow gel and this is the tinted one and look at the pretty small brush i love this i love these little brushes because it's so easy to use and not make a mess and just keep the product exactly where you want it. I hate it when you get these humongous um, brushes on something that goes on your brows. Okay, and I'm going to take my spoolie one last time and just brush through it to make sure that I didn't have like more product than I needed in any one area. And really you can use that um, brow set the uh, Ulta setting gel brow setting gel by itself if you have you know enough brow hair so you don't need to really build it up all right so now for mascara I am going to use the lash the essence lash princess and this is the sculptured volume I don't think I've used this one before. I usually use the green one, the black and teal. But I've heard a lot of nice things about this one too. It does a great job of separating your lashes. And the wand is, if you can see it, and you can see it like that. It's like a little curved. Oh boy. I'm going to put just a little bit down here, hoping it doesn't smudge. I think I want to put a little more blush. I'm going to put a little bit of this. This one by Milani. Actually, that's a bronzer. So no, I'm not. I'm going to put a little more of this. I still think I look a little pale. Maybe once I go to um, edit my video, I won't think so. And I'll say, wow, girl, you went a little overboard with that blush. Sometimes I think the, the camera washes you out. So I have to wear a little more blush than I would normally wear on an everyday basis. Stay. Oh no, they're both going their own separate ways. Okay, so now for um, highlighter, I'm going to use this one from Makeup Revolution. And yeah, it's just a regular Makeup Revolution. They have so many like Makeup Revolution. I love Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution Pro. So I think I'm just going to see that it's got like three different shades. And I'm just going to go into the two lighter ones. Kind of like just a little bit. And take a little bit on my, my brow bone. very pretty okay let's go for it because you really bother me there 
Where is my... Oh, better. All right, so now I'm going to take my powder brush and just very lightly, I'm going to use the same powder I used before, just go over the entire face just so I make sure that my concealer is not too crazy. All right, now for lipstick, I'm going to use this lipstick. This is like a lip balm from Sephora. And I really do love it. And this is a really pretty coral. It's like a tinted lip balm. And I just thought it would look nice with the shirt that I'm wearing. So um, this, lip, this lip liner is by NYX. And this is in the color Whisper Caviar. Whipped, I'm sorry, Whipped Caviar. All right, I filled my lips so that when the lip balm wears off, you still have a little bit of color on your lips. I will list everything below that I'm wearing. And this is in the shade, oh my gosh, no. The uh, little sticker with the shade came off, so even if I could see it, it's not there, but I will find it for you. So this is the finished look. Uh, let me know what you think. I know my hair looks worse than ever, what you can see of it, but hey, what can I say? Another pandemic mishap. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video. It was fun. It was easy. This is something that, like I said, if you're not talking, you can create it in quick five to ten minutes and out the door so i hope you enjoyed it guys and i'll see you on my next one i love you bye Mwah.